I was recommended to show my sort of workstation that I have in which I'm repairing electronics and how I record them for YouTube. So what we have here is uh, all the major appliances that I use, the smoke absorber for the soldering iron, the microscope obviously to see better, multimeter webcam, and the soldering iron all the way to the right. And to the right of the major workstation, I have a kind of an array of other items like plastic gloves, uh, multi-tool, some capped on tape, etc. Some other projects that I've been meaning to get to as well. This is my hot air station that I use for some components as well. And here is a head-on view of the kind of my workstation here. Um, as you can see, everything is pretty compact. And here I have the alcohol and the circuit board holder and uh, a voltage injection tool that's underneath the air smoke extractor. Here are some Q-tips and such that I use to apply some of the alcohol, distilled white vinegar to address issues with uh, corroding terminals. And this is the microscope that I use. Um, I have a clamp of the webcam attached immediately to the right of it. So it serves as like an additional camera. As you can tell here, this is footage from me trying to fix an iPod. On the bottom right, you see that the webcam that's mounted on top of the microscope uh, is what's the footage there. And then of course on the main screen is what's the microscope itself. This is how I turn it on. And then what I get to see is actually what is in front here on this screen is what I'm actually looking at the entire time when I'm working. And in order to get better lighting, there's a switch here that I can turn on to get more direct light. And here's a clamp that's intentionally kind of articulated in such a way in order to get a better angle. And this is the iFixit kind of like a technician sort of case that I use. Uh, it's been invaluable. I've used it for many, many years. And um, I really think that it's done so, so much good having so many options when I'm uh, trying to work on electronic devices because you never know what you need what you need and this is a thing I 3d printed in order to hold a bunch of like little dentist tools and other items that uh, I'm planning on redesigning because this is just a good first attempt but um, yeah just a little thing I made and this is my workstation um, really not a long video but I think if people wanted to know more about um, what does it take to actually start working on these things it doesn't take much